欢迎你收看今天的《文倩世界周报》。那么这个礼拜呢，人类最重要的大事是什么？我们想在太空里头寻找朋友的梦想持续已久，而我们一直相信，在整个太阳系里头，可能唯一存在整个外星人的地方，就是在火星。而最近，美国的好奇号，美国 NASA 呢，终于在帕萨迪纳的 NASA 中心。这个好奇号正式的登陆火星成功，传回了一些照片，照片显示出来它跟地球多么的像。在美国加州帕萨迪纳的喷射推进实验室，这是漫长而煎熬的七分钟。科学家准备接收来自两亿四千公里外的讯息，除了等待之外，他们无事可做。登陆火星的消息让科学家们欣喜若狂，其中有些人全部的研究生涯都是投注在这项有史以来野心最大的火星任务。All those things that have kept me and the rest of the team awake for for years, we don't have to think about it. We don't have to dream about it anymore. We don't have to. It doesn't have to haunt us everywhere we go. It's so it's a it's a great thrill and a great relief for all of us. 环绕火星运行的追踪器难得捕捉到了好奇号的降落画面。太空总署透过推特揭露了探测器进入火星大气层，有如《零零七》电影特效一般，所谓恐怖七分钟的过程。好奇号登陆之后，随机传回来了第一张照片，是他自己的一个轮子；第二张照片则是好奇号的阴影，背景则是降落地点盖尔坑，有如沙漠般苍茫的火星表面。在纽约的时报广场，兴奋的民众观看登陆火星的现场直播。对大小挫折不断的美国太空总署来说，总算等到扬眉吐气的一刻。And if anybody has been harboring doubts about the status of U.S. leadership in space, well, there's a one-ton automobile-sized piece of American ingenuity the, uh, that is. And it's sitting on the surface of Mars right now, and it should certainly put any such doubts to rest. NASA 选择的降落地点在靠近火星赤道的盖尔坑，因为他们认为在遥远的过去有水流经过这里，可能有某种生物形式曾经存在，或者仍然存在于火星。At least in the past, Mars looks like it has been habitable. It could have supported microbial life. But you know, you need to go and look, and you need to ask the right questions. And curiosity is a rover that's able to do that. 一公吨重量的好奇号使用核能电池，动力至少足够一个火星年，也就是六百八十七个地球日。未来将在盖尔坑五公里的范围内登上高山，俯瞰地形，钻入地底研究地质。虽然好奇号没有探测生命的能力，不过它可以挖掘出生命的迹象，寻找建构生命的基础物质，包括水、碳和甲烷。One of the things that we're attracted to as a science hypothesis that we would like to test 
is the possibility that there were loose surficial materials once transported by water that then became cemented. It's a question that you can't help to ask yourself. You know, was there life there? Did it ever evolve? And, and that's the emotional part of it. Of course you hope it was there. It'd be one of the greatest discoveries that we could ever make. 经常是科幻作品中人类前进太空的基地，而不管有什么发现，好奇号都给怀抱火星梦的人带来无穷的希望。It will become increasingly possible for uh, uh, first the Mars base and then ultimately Martian communities to be self-sufficient on Mars. When we learn that craft, Mars becomes habitable to humans. 这个号称十年之内最重大的太空任务，或许将解答人们终极的问题：在浩瀚无垠的宇宙中，人类到底是独一无二，还是会有其他智慧生物的存在？